Hey, it's your girl Kuki Kiani, and today we're gonna be having a little girl talk, okay? Because I know y'all know that um, Roy V. Wade was overturned, and there's a lot of discussion of like what women need to do when it comes to our body at bodily autonomy and also like um just privacy in general privacy when it comes to our health what our doctors and also like the type of apps and stuff that we use and um i really this really was um i just wanted to come on here to talk to you guys about tracking periods and stuff um because I do use a period tracking app. Well, I'm like about to stop completely using mine. And um, analoging it, I'll add some videos in here to show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. Like privately and manually handwriting your period log and tracking it in a calendar that only you have access to. Okay, listen up. The most common way to go analog is get yourself a hard copy calendar that only you have access to. On the day that your period starts, you draw a circle. Then you draw a line for each day that your period lasts. Um, also not sharing your period information and stuff with doctors because you don't have the right to privacy when it comes to those type of things anymore. Um, I know with all of this going on. It's scary for a lot of us women. I myself am pro-choice. I'm pro-choice. Women should have their own say in what they want to do with their body. Like, it shouldn't be determined by a man. Especially not by strange old people who don't know shit. But really... Y'all, this ain't about, this ain't even about kids. This ain't even about anything. This is about white birth rates. And y'all know I have a degree in criminal justice with a minor in Africana studies. So I studied things like, um, I took a class for sex crimes. I have a book on it in my, in my books, in my room right now, actually. But a lot of kids and stuff that end up in foster care because that's where a lot of these kids that are going to be born that people don't want are going to end up they end up being trafficked and it's all it's the government it's politicians it's celebrities it's like it's huge and now you we have to be worried about being punished for having abortions or miscarriages or whatever. And it's fucking crazy. So, um, I know for a lot of people, they use paper products. You use tampons or pads or whatever. You buy them from the store. When you buy things from the store and you use cards, that is a record. You know what I'm saying? That is a... That's evidence that you are having a period. That um, you are buying products for having a period. So what happens if... It stops? What happens if you end up pregnant and you don't want to be pregnant? And you have to take matters into your own hand because... We don't have access to these things. 
like I said, I'm pro-choice. I'm pro-women do whatever for themselves, like, whatever choice they want. And, um, being worried about those kind of things shouldn't, it shouldn't be a thing. But a way that you can, like, shy away from even having those issues is by investing into things such such as menstrual cups and cloth pads and stuff. And buy things with cash, not credit cards or debit cards and stuff. Also, stop tracking your period in the app that is storing all of your data and all of your information. You need to log it manually, the old fashioned way. Get a pencil, get a calendar, get a little book or something, write it out like that. Somewhere private only for yourself, okay? And also, um, banning abortions, as we all should know, Banning abortions doesn't stop people from having abortions. It stops people from having access to safe abortions. And also, there are a lot of natural ways to have abortions. And um, there's actually a book that you can buy. I actually tried to look it up on Amazon. And coincidentally, it's unavailable on Amazon. But, um, oh, what is the book called? Um, I can't think of what it is. But like I said, natural ways. I will put some information about the book in here. Because right now my my brain is just blank on it. It's been a long morning. A long, long morning for me. But, um, talking, speaking on getting the, um, menstrual cup, I actually just ordered myself a new one, um, not a couple of weeks ago. I don't even know. Um, I bought this on Amazon. It's actually two menstrual cups. They came in this box, a big one and a small one, and it came with a little carrying case. came with two... This is my preferred method of dealing with my menstrual cycle. Um, A Diva Cup. I used to have the Flex one, which it was decent too. I actually um, enjoyed it having the extra like thing to pull down the lip to make it smaller. But this is what I choose to use for my menstrual cycle. I'll show y'all like a little tutorial on how you even use them. Because I know for some people, they don't know how to use them. You get this, you boil it, okay? You boil it when you first buy it, when you first get it, before you ever use it. Boil it, let it cool. Um, you can use a little water to lube it, you know, for a little lubrication. Then you take it, you pinch it into itself like this, pinch it, and then you fold it into itself like that. Yeah, it can easily pop. So I usually hold it tight up against the the top of it. Hold it like this. This is the hole, y'all. You push it up in there. And you know, it's a muscle down there. So once it relaxes, it will release and it will open up as a cup. So you keep pushing it up till it's in the top. And it will release and your muscles will hold it in place. And then, basically, when you're done, you can stick your fingers up there and pinch it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Then you slowly pull it out. You can dump it, rinse it, clean it with, like, antibacterial soap or stuff. And boil it every month before you use it. Keep it clean. You can wear it up to 12 hours. So, I say this is my preferred method because I don't like to wear underwear. I also don't like to wear pads or anything because 
they put chemicals and stuff in pads to make you bleed more it gives me like rash irritation whatever because of whatever's in it they make pads and stuff out of synthetic fibers it's not good for you that's why i say cloth or a menstrual cup they have lots of different brands lots of different designs and these are supposed to be able to last for like 15 years i don't even know i've had a couple of them like i said i just bought these ones these were really cheap because i needed a new one i don't know where my other ones are um um you can wear it up to 12 hours. I say you have to wash it in between uses. I like it for, like, work and out and about. Um, usually, before I leave to work, I would insert it, work my whole shift without having to worry about it. Not have to worry about um, having accidents. Oh, is, is my pad showing? Oh, is it leaking through? Like, none of those issues. I don't like to wear underwear. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse me. I don't like to wear underwear. And when you're wearing something like this, you don't have to worry about having issues. Um, and also, this keeps you from having a paper trail on your period products. Okay? Um... I said I'm going to add some information. I have some videos that um, I know are some good information. Tell you some good information on, like, natural remedies to help with this law. Um, like I said, get rid of period tracking apps and stuff. And me, I want to have kids. I want to have a baby. This fucking world is crazy. But delete all the apps delete them all track it organically um oh lord i've had a crazy day i hope this video made sense um it's really just crazy out here Waivers are always overturned, so remember these couple things. Vitamin C is your friend. Papaya seeds do research on it. Black Guinness and hot pepper. Ibuprofen, 400 milligrams. Keep the little pills by your bed. I would say take about two. You're all good. And until November 8th, go and vote. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or need the links, because I think I found a PDF about that on that book for the natural remedies. So I may be able to share that link with you guys. But I will put the information in here about the name of the book and stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Um, bye.